aka Punisher, hosted another month-long 3D art challenge called Infinite Journeys. Here is my submission, and in this video, I'm going to provide some commentary and show you some of my time-lapse footage of me modeling, texturing, and composing my entry. For this challenge, there are four simple rules that we had to follow which are shown here. My idea was to create a sci-fi room inside of a spaceship with some planets and cool looking stuff outside the window. To visualize my idea and collect reference, I used PureRef, which is great for throwing together images to make a mood or inspiration board. The software that I used to make this render were Blender for modeling, Substance 3D Painter for texturing, and Uni for rendering. The first step of the creation process was to make a block out using primitive shapes like cubes to get a rough idea of the composition. Blocking out the scene helped me to get a better sense of scale and also understand how many different assets I need to make. It also helped reveal what assets are most important, which played a big role later on when I was nearing the deadline. I then started making some models inside of Blender. My style is to work iteratively on each asset, meaning that I like to get every model about 50% and then progress into texturing and rendering and then go back to previous steps as I need to. I like doing this rather than fully completing a model and then going on to the next step and fully completing that because I often make mistakes I need to go back to previous steps anyway. So by working iteratively, I can catch these mistakes early without needing to redo as much. Another reason which you'll see is I can get decent, keyword decent, <laughs> looking models done quickly. So when I'm strapped for time later on, at least I have some sort of model and texture completed, so I have something rather than nothing. And in terms of number of different assets in the scene, this can be good, but it can also be bad by bringing down the overall quality with multiple okay assets rather than a few really, really good ones. Regardless, I still tried to work fast, taking advantage of the mirror modifier and knife tool inside of Blender. Once the models were done at a basic level, I moved on to texturing inside of Adobe Substance 3D Painter. I started with the main elements first, such as a planet you can see through the window, and the window itself. In some cases, such as the background stars, I just made a shader inside of Uni, which is simple and gets the job done. You'll see me frequently go back and forth between Substance, Uni, and Blender, tweaking the colors, detail the model and texture, and remodeling parts of the original model to look better. Also because I was pretty indecisive about the color choice throughout this process. With a few days left, I started to flesh out my scene, making some last minute finishing touches. This included adding some UI to the monitors, improving the lighting, and adding a Mixmo character because I didn't dedicate the time to making one myself. I go back and remodel and retexture a few assets quickly as I found some visual glitches, as well as changing some of the colors to a more blue-orange color palette rather than the green I had before. I also used post-processing both inside of Uni as well as color grading inside of Premiere Pro to produce my final render. And here is my final render. Overall, while I didn't put as much time in as I would have liked, I'm happy with the overall render. No way did I have a shot at the top 100. There are so many great talented artists who submitted to this contest, and it was cool to see all of them in the all renders montage. I roughly spent five to six hours work on this render, though it did feel like a little bit more. This challenge helped me to not be perfectionist and encouraged me to keep working iteratively. At least that works for me, not necessarily for everyone else. I wish I had gotten around to making a character, doing some animation with the monitor UI, and making some more dynamic elements like a black hole and a spaceship flying in the background, stuff that I had originally planned but didn't dedicate the time to. The plan is to incorporate this render and elements of this render into my currently in development game, so hopefully this isn't the last you see of this render. Thank you all for watching, I love you forever, and I'm coming back in the next video.